Welcome back to Noble Fates. Hopefully your holidays has been awesome and you are slowly recovering from that terrible feeling you eat too, way too much during Christmas. Uh, let's talk about demonic carbuckle which you need to open open that portal so you can close demonic breach and fight against it uh so far i don't have any idea how you can trigger this event it just appears on your map some point when it first appears you can't do anything for it it's just there it doesn't have health or anything <clears throat> after some while wizard showed up and tell you that hey this is demonic car carbuckle or what technically they are all wondering what the heck it is and then wizard is is staying in your colony and researching what it is and then after some time wizard tell you hey by the way i found out what it is it's demical demical demonic i can't even read anymore demonic carbuckle and <clears throat> they advise that you don't touch it don't fucking touch it don't touch it or if you touch it it will open and you must close it well how we can do that i will tell you but let's see what happens when you open this demonic garbacle before you do that a little bit preparing uh when you open this you will get people or monsters wave after wave after wave after wave after wave until you closed if you don't close it they just keep coming 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 and destroy everything and uh, that portal will be exactly where this carbuckle is aka it would be much much nicer if this carbuckle would be outside of your base not middle of it because this is technically meaning that there will be a lot of destruction and i was thinking that, hey i'm not going to open this but hey let's make video for you and see <laughs> for see first of all can i even even close this but a little preparing for your people before we do this make sure that your people has good gear good armors good weapons uh, they have bow bows they have arrows ellie hates bows so she doesn't have it but make sure that your people are ready i would say that it's a little bit more identical to have more than four people i think four people is a little bit low amount for this event but we have four people so let's see what's left after everything is done uh then before you open this it has 250 health and you need to go th destroy that and once health goes zero you open the portal and things will appear so your other people they can do whatever they want and once health is almost zero move your people in battle positions be ready because then it's too late after it's open after it's open i made this little tower here but i think it's a little bit too far away so my archers can't stand here and shoot this shoot this thing so my, my people will be here people will be here but let's break this let's open it and see what we get okay so now carbuckle has 32 health let's get my people in battle position you are melee but now you will be ranged at least first then sharp you are melee get here Ellie, you are melee, you will be here. And let's open this. Open this thing. So now we get more and more people, more imps 
all the time of wave after wave. Every wave will be more difficult. Every wave is more difficult, and you can see right down the corner, demons incoming. That's how fast that next wave is coming. Uh, you get imps, but then you get something else. Uh, give me a second. I will be back when we get that something. And now, <laughs> preacher, this is this something, <laughs> something else. These dudes are very beefy, and as you can see, they spit lovely, lovely fireballs. They will cause issues, a lot of issues. Uh, hopefully your people has special fighting skills. Example, Ellie has this stone skin sharp and Sean has this wonderful ability. Save these until you get Preacher, because you freaking need them all. So let's now trigger... Put this on... On this dude, both of them. And then Ellie can get that skin. And also save your all arrows. As your leader, I prefer you play with leader on this mo uh, on this event. Kill those imps when they arrive with melee. Stable all your arrows because you want make sure that you have arrows to even little bit, little bit damage this lovely creature. But yeah. Fireballs, and everyone knows how fire and wood work together, so not well. It might be that this whole building will be burned after this is done, but hey, let's see. Best thing is to, you can decoy this preacher, and actually let's make Ellie push you can make this preacher aiming you so and then when you're close enough it doesn't shoot those fireballs so everyone can just shoot arrows on it Ellie can hit Ellie can hit I don't have arrows anymore uh, I'm sure they have arrows still but I can just technically stand here Ellie will hit hit that preacher and those will shoot arrows. Just make sure they don't shoot you with those arrows. It's very tanky, that preacher. Very, very powerful. So you don't want that they they will hit you. Not at all. No! That's why Ellie has that uh, tough skin. So... Ellie can take a few hits before it goes down. Oh, that was close. But as you can see, that vulnerable ability is very, very crucial and very, very helpful. But it looks like our people are out of arrows. You have a little bit of arrows. Why you don't use those? Maybe I make you as push as well. Like, you want to kill this creature as fast as possible. Ooh, don't hit me. Ellie is down. Ellie is bleeding. Not good, not good. We might lose Ellie. Actually, let's make a little uh, game move. Sharp. Go soothe Ellie. And we can continue. Like, good thing is that that new wave isn't coming right now. So we have time to play with this preacher. Ellie. Come on, dude. Go down. Uh, Preacher me is also very, very good. Very many people actually like it. No matter it's human or... Or... Uh, orc. If you want to make, get good advantage from this. Okay, now... Ellie isn't dying right now. You can transport Ellie. You want to make sure that your people stay 
good as possible condition. Example now, Ellie is down. We can we have time. We have very good moment, very good situation. We have time to transport Ellie, and hopefully we can get Ellie later back in uh, in business. But I kill this creature, then a few more waves comes. No idea how long, how many times, but we must fight with this until that wizard comes back. So I see you when the wizard is arriving. Okay, and apparently we had to su survive seven waves right now, and I can see it's hearty that wizard joined in. And now you can control wizard. It's very freaking cool. You have uh, magic abilities. You can shoot fireballs, you no, know, lightning bolts. But why you need this wizard? Wizard is the only one who can close this breach. You can continue fighting if you are if you are comfortable. Like example, we haven't lost anything yet, but our people are a little bit tired, a little bit sad. And actually, Sean is needing some treating. So, because we have only four people, not ideal situation. So I guess I'm just pre uh, closing this breach as soon as possible. Uh, you can control the wizard clicking M. And then you can see we have two... Two special skills, we can heal ourselves or we can close this bridge with number two. And now wizard is closing the bridge. We can be a leader one minute and we get we get more. And that's it. Demonic breach shield. And what we get from it is Reach a relic. This will never decay. There is not too much what you can do with it right now. But it's a very, very nice and cool event. And that's how you complete it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. That can be very, very scary as well when you do it first time. But... It's done. It's awesome, awesome, awesome event. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe our channel. And you get more awesome Noble Fates videos and other awesome content as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Stay awesome, soldiers.